Yo, what's good, you two? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the White Tails Dynasty here on the channel. And hit that like button because you guys are here for the return of Tucker Akonkwo. Akonkwo was here in season one with the rest of the original walk ons. And he has been our leading tackler ever since. 56 in the first year, 42 in the second. And he is back from injury after getting hurt in the offseason. He's back to face UCF on the road in the rain. And UCF is going to be missing their starting quarterback, Dario Mack Jr. He is a red shirt senior. And he will be out a few more weeks. So he will see Quadri Jones who actually did play for them last year, and Mac got hurt as well in the previous season. So this is going to be familiar territory for him. But they do have a couple of weapons on offense, Marlon Williams and Marcus Mangum, who remember from last year, he actually had a huge game for, for them. But this game is going to be tough. We are in the rain on the road, so let's kick off this game. Here is Beaver starting at quarterback this game, handing the ball off to Jabari Blaze. That is going to be a gain of four as Blaze is filling in for Jacoby Beck. Remember, Beck has an ACL sprain, and he is going to be out for a couple of more weeks, but it's going to be perfect timing going into the bye week next week. So here's a draw play on a second down that time. Nathan Beaver picks up six but gets hit, bringing it to a third and three. Here's a throw to the right side. That is Chris Coretta on the sideline. He's got a gain of eight, and that's enough for a first down. So now first and 10 this time. Four wide receivers out there. Chris Coretta lined up at receiver. He's going to get open to the left side, and that's a gain of about 10 yards on that one. Chris Coretta, he had a big season last year as a freshman. He's looking to get back on track because he's not having the great season he had last year, but still pretty good for the sophomore. So Blaze picks up the first down now as we move the ball closer to the 30-yard line. Throw across the middle. There's Blaze again. He's got it out of the backfield. This is the role that Beck would play. We're getting to see Jabari Blaze's skill set as he gets the first down. So first and 10. Throw across the middle. It's Marlon Yarbrough once again, 12 yards. He is our leading receiver this season. Not as good as last season and the season before that, but he is still doing his thing. Here's a handoff to the right side Jabari gets into the end zone that's an opening drive score here for your white tails on the road in the rain actually you know what we we threw the ball pretty well on that drive it's seven nothing so here is Jones out for his first possession on offense he's gonna run out to the right side he doesn't have great speed but he has enough to at least scramble for a couple yards so now third and seven. Here is Jones scrambling out once again. And he this time he does slide down, avoiding the hit from Marvin Woods. And that's going to be a punt. So here comes Nathan Beaver back out onto the field. Under center, handing the ball off to Jabari Blaze. He picks up a gain of 11. He's been running the ball really well in the absence of Jacoby Beck, just taking advantage of this opportunity. Here's the throw to the right side. This time, Brett Hill, the transfer junior from Juco, gets 25 yards. But I want to highlight Jabari Blaze on this play. Take a look. The defensive tackle shreds a block on that one. And look at this, the help. Jabari Blaze just doing it all. So now we move it past the 40-yard line. First and 10, throw out to the right side. And it's going to be picked off that time by the defense. Take a look. Marlon Yarbrough could not make any separation on that play and Yarbrough just gets undercut and it's interception and UCF has this ball right back so here's a throw to the right side Whitaker on that one he gets a gain of nine as they move the ball close to the 45 for a second and one play action fake dump off of over the middle that's going to be Mangum he's getting tackled from behind from Tucker Aconquo but it is a gain of 13. So now past the 50-yard line, Jones from the shotgun. He throws out to the right side. Thompson, Mentavious Thompson is their impact player on offense. He hasn't made much of an impact here in the first quarter heading into the second. As here is Jones thrown out to the right side on a third down pass. And it's going to be way off the mark as they line up to go for it on fourth and five. They trust their offense as they're in pretty good field position here. Jones from the shotgun, throws across the middle. He's gonna find Thompson, but it's a tackle by who else? It's Tucker Akakwo. welcome back. 
The junior makes a big play on that one. And take a look. Just the instincts are there. This is what we've been missing on defense. It just adds another component to our team. So now we come back out on the next drive. Nathan Beaver still at quarterback. He's going to throw it to the left side. That time to the sideline. It's Doug Johnson. He goes up and gets it in traffic. That's a big athletic play by him. And it's a first down gain of 17. So now first and 10. Here's a screen pass out to the right side. It is Jabari. He's got a gain of eight. As we've gotten him more and more involved in the passing game. I like this, what I see from him. We're going to have to think about that when Joe Kobe Beck comes back. As here's a handoff on a third down, but he can't get back to the first down marker. So we actually do like UCF. Go for it here in four down territory. Here is Jabari Blaze. He gets tackled. It's a gain of two, but a first down. So now under center this time, Nathan Beaver. He's going to get sacked right away, and the defensive tackle goes right around our offensive lineman on that one and gets in right away. Making it a third and 11. This time, throw across the middle. And it's going to be picked off by Gilliard. We thought we had the window across the middle. And just like that, Nathan Beaver tried to force one, getting it over the top of the linebacker. There was, they were in cover two on that one. So the middle of the field was wide open. But we throw another pick. That's two for Nathan Beaver. But back out on defense, Elgin Lloyd makes a good stop behind the line. Bringing it to a second and 11. This time, gotcha, Quadri Jones trying to scramble out. And it's going to be a sack. Justin Jamison and Derek and Pinto meet him in the backfield. Now it's a third and long. So now, third and 15 here from the shotgun. Quadri Jones, four, four wide receivers out there and his running back. He's going to run a screen pass out to the left side. Thompson trying to break free, but it's going to be a stop that time. And we're going to have to get this next possession here with one minute left for our offense here's a quick throw out to the right side here's Chris Coretta getting open 15 yards they don't account for the tight end I don't get it Chris Coretta had a huge season last year so now second and 10 here's Beaver standing in the pocket throws to a tight window that is Doug Johnson played safety his first year and receiver converted full time to nickel corner his second and now he's back at receiver a first down Throw out to the left side on the next play. Here is Marlin getting going. 10 yards for him. And now he moves it to about the 22-yard line for a second and in inches. Beaver throws out to the left side. Finds Brett Hill. Brett Hill breaks a tackle. He's in for the touchdown. Brett Hill, the junior, and he has helped quite a bit. Coming from JUCO, he had a big season as a JUCO sophomore, and he's come in and done nothing but help us so far. It's 14-0. So here is Quadri Jones, this time scrambling out to the right side with under a minute left here to put some points on the board. That is a gain of 14. So now second and two. They don't even have 70 yards of offense yet. Here is Jones scrambling out to the left side. He's going to get a get a couple of yards on that one, gain of 10. And now they're moving the ball. They have one timeout left. So now 20 seconds left here in the first half. Jones scrambles out to the right side. He gets run down from behind. And they're going to actually hurry this up to the line. And look at this clock. It's ticking down. They still have a timeout left. They're going to try to get a snap off. And they do. They get the snap off. Jones, he's going to take off again. Try to pick it up himself. He avoids a tackler and tries to get into the end zone. But that is going to be a brain fart by the quarterback, Quadri Jones. And they don't get any points on the board. It's 14-0 going into half. So here we go, starting out this second half on defense. Quadri Jones, he's been scrambling all game long and he can't get away from the tackler that time. Take a look, it's Tucker Akakwo with a big hit on Quadri Jones, forcing a third and four. Handoff up the middle, this time Thompson avoids Cam Duvano in the backfield that time and Duvano cannot make the play and it's gonna be a gain of 21. His first carry of the game. So here is Thompson this time. Carry to the left side, and he's going to lose three yards on that one. And that's a tackle behind the line. Cam Duvano makes up for that pass play. So now third and 11. This time, Jones, he's going to try to buy some time. Roll out to the right. Give throw back that. to the left. It's picked off. Tucker Okonkwo, welcome back, fella. The junior leader on defense. You can just see the leadership. I mean, just the impact on the game. And he's already got a turnover in his first game back. Welcome back, 55. 
So now back out on offense. Here is Bo Bridges checks into the game. He throws the left side on his first pass, and he is going to find Marlon Yarbrough. Bo Bridges has been sitting behind Adam Miller for the past couple of years, finally getting his opportunity to throw the ball, and he does complete the first pass of the game to Yarbrough and followed up by a nice 10-yard scamper that time from Brett Hill. But on the next play, that's a jet sweep play action, and it's going to not work. Kalia Davis is in the backfield, and that makes it a second and long. Bo Bridges now from the shotgun. He's going to buy some time, throw across the middle, and that's Chris Coretta. He gets pushed forward for a gain of 21. That's what Bo Bridges brings to the table, just accuracy, and that throw was on the money. Bo Bridges throw out to the right side. He's got Coretta again. That's a gain of 12, taking a big hit, but it's a first down. He's got five catches for 66 yards. So now Bo Bridges now trying to scramble away from the pass rush. He does lose 12 yards. And that's the drop off there. You don't have the speed at quarterback, so trying to get away from defenders is a lot tougher. So now third and 19, here is Nathan Beaver back in the game. That one is gonna be deflected. And we do line up for a very long field goal and maybe Bryant can hit this one. And it's gonna be just short of the crossbar and take a look, it does hit off of the stanchion there that time. And now it's gonna be still 14-0. But back out on defense, there's Marvin Woods to make the stop in the backfield, and Derek Ampinto just does enough to get in the running back's way. That's a loss of six yards. So they do recover on second down, but they get it to a third and nine, and look at that, throw to the left side, and Quadri Jones has just been flustered. I think he's hearing footsteps, especially in this rain. It's kind of hard to throw the ball. The ball is a little bit slippery. So now we move on to the fourth quarter. Here is this running attack, getting going with Adam Murphy. The freshman running back, he gets in once again, picks up a gain of six. That time he takes a big hit, but he's a different looking running back. He is the power back out of all these guys. He has the highest strength, highest break tackle, and highest trucking. So here on a third and two, here's a play action fake. This time Kevin Carlisle, the fullback gets in, and he picks up a gain of seven yards and enough for a first down. Bo Bridges on a play action, throw to the right side. That's gonna be caught by Marlon Yarbrough. That's what you like to do with Bo Bridges. Get him under center, play action fakes. He's good when throwing under duress. So here's Bo Bridges, this time on the fake jet sweep, and this time he does try to make something out of nothing on a broken play, and that is gonna be a loss of six. So five minutes left here in the game. Here's a throw to the right side. Doug Johnson making another athletic catch, and that brings it to a third and four. This time Nathan Beaver in the game, trying to draw up the middle, and he can't pick up. The first down, it's a gain of three. He needed four, and we bring him back out here for a fourth and one, just trying to ice this game. Beaver, another draw play, up the middle. This time, he gets hit hard, and it's not enough for the first down. He picks up one. He needed just a little bit more than a yard, and UCF comes back out after this turnover. So here's a throw out to the left side. This time, Quadri Jones under duress. He throws the ball away, and that makes it a third and 10. Three minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Four wide receivers out. Quadri Jones throws the ball deep. He's got Bruh. Williams. Breaks the tackle from Quintaris Jones, and it's going to be six for Marlon Williams. Take a look. Quintaris Jones on the coverage, and he just cannot make the throw. Jones was our first cornerback in this series, number one on the depth chart. He moves over to number two, and it's going to be six for UCF as they get back on the board, making it a one-possession game. So now we have to just run this clock out. Here is a run, and we get them to burn a timeout on that play, followed up by a counter play to the left side, and Jabari Blaze does lose three yards. And now that brings it to a third and eight. Beaver in the game now, this time trying to buy some time. He breaks the tackle, gets rid of the ball though, and it's gonna be picked off by McMillan. He panicked that time, broke a tackle in the pocket, and turns the ball over. And UCF now has an opportunity to tie this game up. So now down seven points. Here is Quintaris Jones from the shotgun. He's gonna buy some time, chuck it down the field. He's got a man, but it's gonna be picked off. Elgin Lloyd is going to seal this game with that interception as UCF burned all of their timeouts. And what a defensive game led by Tucker Aconquo in his comeback. And we come go on the road and win this one by seven.
is wow what a game from our defense especially our secondary and even our pass rush we were forcing bad throws all game we only got two uh jones once but it still it resulted in two interceptions one by elgin load at the end there and then tucker conquo in his return back to the starting lineup from injury he gets an interception this is a great game overall. I mean, I gotta admit, our running game started out fast. It definitely slowed down. But in the rain, we did not play bad at all. It was tough to throw the ball, to say the least. I mean, Yarbrough let our teams in, let our team in uh, catches and yards almost in. We just had a great game defensively, to be honest. Our defense kept us in this game and basically allowed us to hold this lead. As we did throw three interceptions, the ball was a little bit slippery. And also, you know, our receivers, it was hard to create separation running here in the rain. So we do hold Quadri Jones to 120 yards passing. And look at our third down defense. Just phenomenal for the third straight game. As we move to two and two heading into the bye week. And you know what that means. It's time for the recruiting episode. You guys will get to see here in this season who is going to be the recruits and just looking at all the top recruits we don't have any of the top 100 guys but as your team gets better there's more competition going after recruits so this is going to be probably our toughest recruiting year yet as we're just making that transition into being a school that's noticed by a lot of these prospects so that's going to do it here in this episode you do not want to miss the next one and we have a surprise appearance from a fellow youtuber you guys know him but you'll see next episode so hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go